Hi everyone, Coyote Montana here. And today, it's been one year since I lost my grandfather. My maternal grandfather, of course. My mom's dad. About one year, about one year ago in this, well, yeah, one year ago, not two years. Around December of 2020. Ugh, I hate that year. My grandfather was sent to the hospital, and then into rehab. And then back to the hospital on Christmas Day. Probably it's hard for me to remember. And we were swaying and seeing to this, see this if he would come home. Yeah, this is after I, after, after I was done with school. So then, around, <clears throat> around December 31st of 2020, my mom got a call from the doctors, and she was a bit upset, and I asked her what's wrong, and she said to me that daddy was sick. It's very sick. My grandfather, of course. That's, eh. Also, you can see I'm wearing my grandfather's cap and his jacket. And also, you can see right here is his cane. It's to honor him. It's to honor him today from one year ago. So anyways, as I was saying, then on January 1st, well, I didn't, well, my mom didn't get a call from the doctors on the 31st, but on the, 30, on the 1st, she did. And then she came out and had a talk with me, and she said to me that that my grandfather wasn't gonna make it, and he had the sickness called parasom something. It's something like about trying to get the mucus out, but he was, but he couldn't do it. So when we arrived to his hospital, I didn't want to cry because I don't want to upset him because he doesn't like when when I'm crying. And, and when he coughs, kind of got me shocked. And then, on the 4th, after seeing my grandfather, well, while I was doing the video of the shelf that I just built, built my dad told me that when he and my mom were coming back, when there was no traffic, there was a mist that went over the, their car. And then, the, and then around December, January 1st, January 5th of 2021, my grandfather was gone. My mom got a call from aunt, from my Aunt Wanda, and and when I woke up and, eat, and after eating breakfast, she told me that he was gone. It's, I really miss him so much, everyone. I mean, ever since when I was just a baby, I know him a lot. So, my dad did this made me a poem, which is on a song called Can't Cry Hard Enough, and it says thing like, nothing but an empty chair, because every time that when me and my dad go down there, we see my grandfather's chair in the living room in the corner, where he always sits. And when he's always there, he's always like, hi, Philip, and hi, Sky, and everything. And also, he, he always says, hi, Mark, and hi, Terry. That's that's the best thing I know of everyone. So days later, we did a funeral a funeral for him, and I read the poem, and I was getting so emotional, and I said my final goodbye. So this is why I'm keeping his coat here, his cap and cane, to honor him and remember him by. If any if any of you if any of you new subscribers have never seen me read read the that poem. Check out the video that I did in 2021 of the pictures of my grandfather and the link in the descriptions below, everyone. This is to honor him. And at, and at, so t and at times, I helped him, with his, helped him with his exercises around 2018 and 2019. And he was doing great. I, just, I miss him so much, everyone. But he's at, up at a heavenly place, and he's watching me, he, and he's watching over me right now. I love you, Pa.
and me, and we missed you so much. Everyone, a one like equals a prayer for my grandfather. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like, send some comments, and hit the bell button for brand new videos, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, everyone.